It's once again time to read from Unmasking Lemon's Thesis by Gloria Weber. This is page 21. It's entitled Crumble Kills Zappy by Clark Olson. Trowbridge City. It has been a week since Crumble caused Manny's Marine Warehouse to collapse, and that was when the superheroine Zappy was last seen. Officials now announced that in the rubble they found a body with the tattered remnants of Zappy's cape and mask. Authorities believe Crumble was there to steal a boat and supplies to go to Ironport Institute to free the recently detained villain, Sonic Wizard. Zappy made it to the scene before police and confronted the criminal. To avoid capture, he took out a support pillar, which caused the warehouse to collapse. City rescue workers have spent the last week trying to find the two. Late last night, the discovery of the body was made. Since she hasn't been seen elsewhere, they feel it is safe to assume it is indeed Zappy. Officials hope to find out her true identity and give Zappy a proper burial. Missing persons reports are being searched and tips as to her real identity are welcomed. It is too early to say if these efforts will be fruitful. A funeral is tentatively scheduled for this Friday. This newspaper and many in the city will miss the electric superheroine. She brought the light of hope and safety to many. As for her murderer, Crumble was last seen jumping into Lake Annabeth. Police shot into the water after him, and three days ago his clothes washed up, blood-stained and riddled with bullet holes. He is also presumed dead. No funerals planned from him for him. Archive clipping provided by Trobe Bridge Daily News. If you enjoyed that, please consider picking up Unmasking Lemon's Thesis. <laughs>